Sup guys, uh, I need a new intro, so, um, yeah, I kind of need a new intro, so if you know anybody that's good, leave a comment of who they are, and thanks again, and enjoy the tutorial. What is up guys, Raid Designs here, um, today I have a tutorial for you guys, actually. <laughs> I haven't counted any of these in a while, and I'm going to show you guys the effect real quick, uh, before, you know, the ending, uh, result of it. Um, it's something that I actually... I think a lot of people would really like. I did it on one of the banner giveaways that I do, um, the daily banner giveaways, and as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see very well, so I'll zoom it in. On the text, it kind of looks like it is zooming at you, almost like it was, you know, coming from where you are, and it gives it the effect of this zoom text, I guess is what I call it. And um, it's really just a blur. It's a zoom blur. It's the coolest thing in the world, and I will show you exactly how to do it. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm also going to tell you, you know, certain things to make it look better, too. Um, a lot of people like to, you know, they do it, but don't really do it right. So I'll show you basically how to do that. So it's a 3D zoom text, um, is basically what it is. And uh, in Cinema 4D now, I already have, like, my colors set up. So I'll tell you what I do. Is, of course, you guys know how to make the uh, two texts so, you know, the outside is one color. The outside of my, you know... Uh, phobia or you know my text is always I like to keep it a color or white and the reason for this is I like to keep it a color or white is just because when the blur happens um, when it's black it, it tends to be a little bit uh, less visible so um, I personally like to do a you know like a, a lighter color so you know you kind of get the full strength of what's going on um, Sorry, my Cinema 4D is acting up at the moment, so I'm going to try to open up some... There we go. Um, uh, you know, oh, it's doing it again. Okay, there we go. Um, but, you know, so also with these, I like to use blocky fonts for these. Uh, don't use, um, you know, thin fonts. It just looks weird. I mean, you can. It's just, if you do it right, it'll look good. Uh, so try to stick to really thick, blocky fonts. I'm gonna just, I know it's like weird that I'm like spending the whole time choosing a damn font. Um, I got one, but what you're also gonna wanna do is a lot of people, I, as you guys can see on the sides of this, there is no, uh, you know, I, I kept the depth the same just for the tutorial, but I do usually move it. Um, I give it about, uh, you know, about anywhere from 200 to 300 depth. Uh, just, you know, to give it that, you know, a little bit more of that effect. And so for this, we're just going to kind of, you know, do the usual thing that you do with um, rendering text that you guys all know. I'm um, just going to save it real quick and render. Uh, might take a second for you guys, but once as we do this render, um, I know it's going to be a little pain for you guys to be sitting here. But I just recently hit 9K subscri er, subscribers. Wow, that would have been very, very ironic to say that. But um, no, I just recently hit 10 or 9K followers, and I just recently hit 35,000 subscribers, which is absolutely um, mind blowing to me. So um, I just would like to really, you know, being the person I am, say thank you to each and every one of you for sticking out. Um, the, you know, each and every day and each and every week and each and every moment and month and year with me um, because, you know, without you guys, I really wouldn't be here. And I'm, I'm literally not that person um, that's going to sit there and lie to you about it. I'm being 100% honest. Without you guys, I would not be here. Um, yes, I get a little bit of hate. And um, I, I am a normal person. Everybody gets it. Um, I really don't care. It, I, there are some things that do bother me. I'm I'm, I'm human. Everybody um, gets a little offended by some things and gets a little uh, upset for some things. But the last thing for anybody to do, and I said it myself, is to let people like that get under your skin. And I need to live by my mottos, and I need to stop listening to what people just need to say. So for that, thank you very much. Now for anybody who knows, um, in another thousand followers, I 
will be giving away on my channel a humongous graphics pack for 10k followers. And I was thinking maybe if you guys really could probably do this, and I don't really know what you guys, I, I don't know if you guys are down. I have an idea um, of maybe doing a spotlight thing on my channel. Now, the spotlight thing, if you guys don't know what it is, is you know, I'm going to take a, a designer who I think is um, pretty good, known, not known in your eyes. I hate that word, but we'll use it just so you guys understand it. Or, and uh, do show one of their speed arts and interview them. I'd like to, uh, you know, get more people out there and give them a, uh, a little chance at uh, some, some publicity. So if you guys really think that's a good idea, um, let me know. If not, give me a reason why. And also, um, if you guys like that, I don't really know, you know, your thoughts, but do you guys really like the uh, recording with Rated? I don't know if you guys like it or not because the last video I got a lot of hate on it just for the same, just for the fact of that. I don't know. I mean, shoot, who knows? Um, people think it was this one kid left a comment saying it was boring. Then don't watch. If you, if it's boring, then don't watch. It's that simple. I mean, you don't have to sit. You don't have to comment on it. You know, great. But that's not something you need to comment. So we're almost done rendering here. Sorry for the for the wait and for if that kid's watching again. Sorry for me being so boring. <laughs> what a joke. But um, yeah, those, those are the type of comments that just make me laugh so hard because I mean, <laughs> I just want to explain something. I upload to upload for you, the ones that love it, not the ones that have a problem with everything. Um, but anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your text in your, uh, of course, Photoshop, uh, whatever the hell you use. If you use paint, cool. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're going to open it up and, you know, most people will drag it into the background or whatever the hell it is. But I'll just use the, uh, the good old background here. But we're going to add some layer styles first, um, of course. We're going to add a nice gradient uh, overlay, about 50%, and that's it. And we're going to rasterize that. And then we're going to add some cool texture to it. Um, I use brushes. Other people can do whatever the hell they want. Uh, these brushes are just grunge brushes that I've found, you know, um, I like to just really screw around on Google and look up brushes and this is what I find and they're cool but um, I'm going to add some black just for the fact to get that contrast of too bright or something uh, maybe a 25 but we're gonna actually not make this an overlay to make that normal and last I'm gonna add some cool dot brushes that I found that are really cool um, can't really see them very well because they're dots but they're they're there but uh, yeah, so there's are those are some cool stuff. We're gonna just merge all the layers down, of course. And here's where we do the effect. Um, looks the best if you keep if you just follow these exact things. You're gonna you're gonna make it look good. So with 3D text, this is what you're gonna want to do. You're gonna want to duplicate your layer once you finish. You know the effect of whatever you're doing, and then you're gonna go into filter, blur, and radial blur. Now I'm going to you're, you, most of the time, it's going to start out like this. And it's going to see good. It's going to start out on mount 10, blur method, uh, spin, and quality. Um, it's going to be good. What you're going to do is switch quality to best, blur method to zoom. And your mount, we're going to go up to about 40, 45, depending upon what you want. Now, also, this is going to be centered. Now, the center, that just basically means that's where the blur is, you know, that's where the um, blur is going to go. Now, if you really look at the perspective of what this looks like, is it's kind of tilted upwards, kind of pushing out and up. So if you really want to 
you know, make it perfect, you pull this little thing down and you're going to get this part more than this part because the perspective is kind of looking up. And then you're just going to hit OK. It might take a second because it is going to be rendering at its best. And now this is what you get. Okay, so most people are thinking like, okay, that you just erase. Well, here's an easier way to do it, and I'm going to cut your time in half on doing this. You're going to select your original layer, all right? You're just going to hit Command, and over the uh, layer, you just click, and you're going to make sure that you're still on the blur layer. Um, and you're going to want to go to Select, Modify, Contract. Now, I, did a, I usually do about 10, but in this instance, I may do a little bit more. Um, so we're going to select, modify again, and contract maybe about five more. Uh, maybe, yeah, this will work. And what you kind of want is you want to kind of look for this to where there's, a, you know, a pretty basic outline. Um, also, if you want to, you just kind of add um, selections. Um, oh, I'm sorry, and what you just do is, is you click delete. Now what I do usually do is, is I take a nice 25% or 25 size small eraser and you just erase the access that, you know, your selection didn't hit. Okay, now of course we're not done yet. You guys kind of get the effect, you kind of get what's going on here kind of looks like that. Now, personally, I did that very, very bad, so I'm going to redo that real quick. You're going to know after the first few times um, you do it, so let's do about 50, no, we'll do about 75. And you're going to know after the first few times if you do it, because I'm going to do it again just so you guys can watch, because it's very simple, very, um, there we go. It's a little high, actually. I'm sorry, but I'm so perf. I'm a perfectionist. Sorry, guys. Oop, not motion blur. But uh, so I'm actually gonna pull this up. There we go. And uh, yeah, this is basically, you know, this is like how I design. It's a pain in the ass. I'm a very, very big perfectionist. But yeah, so we're gonna. I mean, there's two ways you can do it. You can do the selection thing. Which I find works the best because it just eliminates almost everything. But we're going to show you another way. We're going to take this and make this about 50%. No, no, actually, we're just going to do this. Um, we're going to do select, modify, we'll do about, uh, do about 20. Oh, that was expanded. I'm sorry. Select, modify, contract. And we are going to erase. And we're going to go to about 50. Now we'll do 100. Just erasing the access that I don't need. And, and here. Okay, so now that you have the erase the access in here that you don't need, of course, you can kind of see that you get this effect that is being zoomed into you. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to zoom in and you're going to want to see, as you guys can see, this isn't very blended. You're just going to want to take a, a nice brush and blend this into it. And it's kind of just going to blend. Um, that's kind of basically what we're going to do. And it's going to, you don't really want to, I mean, I kind of screwed up a little bit, but you kind of just want to on this so it's over and kind of make it look like it's being killed. I'm actually I'm actually just going to do this manually just to get the effect I'm away for you guys. But uh, I'm going to kind of do this by hand. And this usually works a little bit better as when I just do this by hand. Um, you can do it pretty much anyway. But this is my favorite way to do it just because it really gives a nice effect this way. Um, I 
We're gonna. I'm gonna have to make my eraser a little smaller here for this eye. So, yeah, this is kind of a. Uh, a um, what it's going to look like, as you guys can see. So we'll zoom out. And of course, you guys can kind of see the feeling of it being thrown back at you. And you can just add a bunch of color corrections. You can actually make this a little bit less, you know, opaque to just kind of give it the feeling. I mean, it, it really just goes any way. Um, you know, you can pretty much do it any way you want. So yeah, I mean, that is basically the tutorial. Um, it's really cool. Uh, I, I use a lot actually. Oh, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, rate, comment, subscribe, like the video if you guys liked the video. Um, and uh, definitely check out um, my Twitter, as you guys can see right here. Um, everybody's kind of just, I just hit 9K, so. But um, yeah, so once I hit that 10K, guys. You guys got a pack, and check out the channel, 35,000. I was so stoked when I saw that. But anyways, thank you guys so much, and here's a tutorial, guys, for you guys that you've been asking for. So um, enjoy the tutorial. Love you guys, and uh, deuces.